Hey folks, welcome to Aloft, a new game to the channel, new series. I was playing this last night just to give it a try, and I eventually had to force myself to go to bed. I was having a ball with it. So this is something that I would like to spend some time in. Um, it's just a demo right now. If you go to Steam and type in Aloft, you'll find the, the Aloft demo. And it, uh, I don't know if there's any limits to the, you know, to the point of it's only available for a certain amount of time. I don't see any kind of a timer, and it does allow me to save, so it should be fine for making a series. I'm just running in circles right now, seeing what I missed. Um, gathering materials. Come on. So basically, right now we are finding leaves and wood. And eventually we'll find stone and be able to start making tools and crafting what is needed not only to survive but to gain control of this island and actually fly it around. So a lot of other islands floating around will eventually get to a point where we can see gotcha, where we can see uh, outside of this little valley here, this little canyon and and uh, see what's around us. Basically, we're on a world of floating islands. And um, I need an axe to do that one. But I found that you can gather the branches off of these trees and almost get more wood from gathering branches from a, a cluster of trees than chopping the trees down. There's a lot of benefit to just doing this. Just two wood every time. Anyway, we are here. Don't jump off. Not yet. We gotta get our bat wings first. Bunch of other islands out and about. We're kind of at the edge right now, so we'll get to where I can peek through here without falling off. There's more islands that way, and there's this huge ring that goes around this center storm here, like a hurricane in the middle. And islands that go all the way around her. So I think there are. I've seen a like a map table. I haven't made it myself. Didn't make, get that far last night, but a table that shows that we're just at the very beginning section of a very large expanse. This is a learning stone. It teaches us our first little bits of information to play the game. I believe the workbench is our first one right there. So with that, we can start crafting things. But let's just continue to gather up materials. Wood, leaves, and stones are all that's available to us right now. But once we craft the workbench, it's not something we can just pick up and take with us. Pretty much sacrifice it. You can destroy it and get, I think, some of your materials back. But we don't have to have it right at this moment. Let's get a little further into the game, then we'll make it for, uh, uh, for a little bit later. Find a spot to make a bed and, and uh, the workbench. Right now, we're just kind of gathering enough materials to be able to do some things. In fact, what have I got right now? 23. Let's get up to like 100 of each. It's probably enough to get us through the basic stuff. But beyond that, I'm just seeing if there's anything else down here that's that I'm able to grab without any better tools. Now, am I running in circles? Did I go backwards? Let's find out here. I think I went backwards. Yep. From the other direction, this looked new. <laughs> Let's go up the hill. Yeah, right up here. Floating trees. So, I don't know what is with gravity in this place, but uh, it is what it is. These structures are interesting. I guess trees that have grown around stones and just kind of carried them up with them as they grew. Can I sneak out over here? There are... On other islands, there are things that will be hidden in little nooks and crannies, and there are new things to discover with each island you visit. Eventually finding the island that you want to claim as your own and start building a settlement on it and rig it up to be able to fly it. What do we got here? Stones are what I need the most right now. But this might be a good place to settle in right here at this cave entrance. It starts to rain or something, we can dive in there if we need to. Any more rocks right through here? No. Nope. And that was a gather. Let's grab that one and that one. 
There we go. So I don't know if there's anything special with these guys, or if it's just decor. But is that rain already? It kind of feels that way. Let's. What's right through here? Let's work in this area. All right. So let's make a bed. Because I think I can do that at this point. <clears throat> well, let's make the workbench. So how a build? That's right. B for build. Build this guy. Drop him down. E and Q, I think it was. Yeah, oh, that's right. They're down there. I'm not even going to see them because all I see is this thing in front of me. So you guys will have to teach me how to play. <laughs> all right. So workbench, use. And it's a, it's a rather interesting system that it uses to figure out the blueprints or the, the schematics to, to create things. You have to discover it on your own. Kind of like, I don't know, it's been a long time since that first time I played Minecraft, but that was kind of the, the feeling that I got there, that you just kind of drop things in and something popped up above, and oh, that's how you make it. So it's pretty intuitive that way. If there's a yellow dot, that means that it can be put together to make something. Right there, these two will make, hold it down, a stone hammer. We can craft one of those. Toss that back, put another one of these in there, and learn. We can make a sharp stone. Just wonder if that could be used by itself as a tool. Or if you have to attach it to a piece of wood. Let's make a few of those. Right there. Uh, toss you all back in. With leaves, we can combine with more leaves until we get to a long leaf cloth. Okay, let's make maybe five of those. Put you guys back. Wood can be combined with this guy <clears throat> and one of those to make a pickaxe. Great. One of you. What else we got? Wood can be combined with this guy alone to make a stone axe. All right. Eventually we'll find bone and be able to make all these things in bone and be a stronger version. Combine this with more of those and you can make a leaf bandage. Let's make at least one of those for now. Leaves are a little harder to find at the moment. Toss you guys back. No more yellow dots. So we've ex exhausted what we can make with just these ingredients. All right, so top into here. And tools, let's put, uh, we'll put this guy in number two, this guy in number three, this guy in number four. Leave number one for a weapon, which we're not gonna be able to make for a while. This tells us, hey, you discovered something, so, and where you can find them. We've got <clears throat> seeds. Oh, the trees we've been chopping down. No, we've been gathering from. We haven't been chopping yet. So, we've already found a chestnut seed, an oak seed, and an acacia seed. Um, the bee down below there is kind of flashing at me, telling me that there's something new. So, along with the workbench, gave us the ability to make all the parts for a structure or a house right there exclamation points oh and grass roofs okay I think uh, Hobbitville we can make the bed now we can make storage so a basic leaf basket that holds I think six things whereas these guys hold a lot more but they have a lot bigger footprint and let's grab this guy place him Let's see, spin you around. Let's put him under a roof. We'll use this as a temporary shelter. We're not going to stay on this island. But we can set this as home, which is handy. Once you start flying around, you're trying to figure out where you are headed based upon where you have been. You see a little home symbol way off in the distance and kind of gives you a sense of where you're going. This guy, you can destroy these things and anything else by choosing basically anything in the uh, in the build menu it says down there hold your right mouse button to destroy it doesn't it is it, not obvious what that means you hold it and nothing happens you got to go up to an object and then press your left button once you're holding your right one down and that uh, that item will be destroyed so there is a way to at least get some materials back there's no way to pick that up and take it with you unfortunately Alright, so we now have the ability to cut trees. What is that? We're wet. 
Oh, apparently wet is not a happy thing. Okay. Well, and we got a little negative raindrops down there in the in the uh, bottom left. Oh, I'm still officially dry. Okay. Well, let's go cut a tree just to see that happen. You can see the the artistry around it. That comes down. There's more to it than that. It can get more complicated. Um, you got to hit it one more time to pick them up in this game. But what's interesting is a system they have in here. Let me find a better tree to... And let's go... This guy, this will work. Notice when I chop, there is an arc down below with a highlighted part. Oh, right in front of you, yeah, right in the middle of the screen. So it arcs and the last part of it is highlighted. If you click when you're in that highlight, it doubles the speed and do it again it triples the speed it's like a boost click click and takes it down there are other things that you do that uses the same principle that you then start really um, um, boosting whatever it is you're doing it'll become more obvious later right now let's go ahead and well let's pick let's use the pickaxe and then we'll get some sleep so pickaxe might be a good example on one of these larger items here. And some of these glow with a, a blue in them. There are special stones that are in some of these. So if I time this right, click there, 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 and it just disintegrates that last little bit. There we go. Did we pick up one? We did. We got a wind stone. Mysterious, glowing, and transparent stone with magnifying properties. At first, I assume they thought that meant, or they were trying to say magnetic properties, but apparently you can use the thing to create like a telescope. So it is magnifying, so I'm not sure what that's all about. Grab those, grab those, and I can walk through here easier now. What are you? Near the workbench. It's dark. Let's go to sleep. So E, get some sleep. <clears throat> Sleep resets you, makes you well rested, you get a bonus down there in the bottom left, and you wait a little bit longer, it puts you at peace, and you get yet another bonus. Though, I don't know if there's any way to f figure out what those bonuses are. Nothing pops up, I can't click on them, and I'm on my home island, so apparently there's a bonus there too, or it just tells you that you're home. Because after a while, you start flying around all these different islands. It gets a little uh, confusing. All right, so in here, is there anything in here that is different that I would have missed completely if I didn't look around? Gather yeah, stones. Actually, we're going to need a few of those, right? Oh, we're into our second stack. Okay, so we're doing pretty good materials-wise. So is there anything new, I guess, is what I'm looking for now. Otherwise, we'll just continue on, kind of work our way through this tutorial which is telling us we're gonna have to learn how to use the pickaxe if we're gonna get any further when you miss it it turns red right there so it breaks the cycle okay so if you're picking it then it picks up the items automatically and apparently I can't get next to that there we go. So we got plenty of, of rocks now. In fact, we're going to get to a point where we'll be, we'll be throwing things down because there's only so much room in this backpack. I think the next island is going to give us coal instead of stones. That's what that reminded me of. We got water down here. We can collect it. It's dirty water, <clears throat> so we don't want to. I don't think there is a sense of needing water for survival. Uh, clean water gives you a bonus once you drink it hiding in here nope but there isn't a sense of thirst or hunger that I'm aware of uh, there is health you do have enemies to fight and when you get hit your health will drop some <clears throat> let's peek over the top here and see what's going on waterfall over there this is a bigger island than I first realized when I started playing it. 
I didn't realize it until I had finally got to the point that I could use uh, my wings and fly a little bit that I landed in a place I didn't realize was even part of this island. That's a little bit of a challenge. We need to get up to that thing. Yeah, and we don't have wings yet. I don't think we have access to wings yet. We'll see. Otherwise, it's... Whoa! Thankfully, there's no fall damage. <laughs> I'm going to hit that, uh, that uh, workbench again and just make sure that it's not already available to me. E. Let's see here. You... We have water now. Okay. Let's run through these real quick. Now. Workbench. Okay. You. Oh, here we go. So, minor... At peace, minor health regen. So, well rested, walk speed increased. Oh, okay. There it is. Uh, tabs are not implemented yet. You can do... All kinds of uh, power moves, we'll call them. So you can slide and glide and combat different combos and blocks and what have you if you learn how to do it by you know, holding down the right button to prevent damage. Okay, shove, hold down that one while blocking. So block and then click this guy to shove the enemy back. Okay, so things to learn how to do. At some point, I don't remember exactly when or where, it gives you the... I see, so you've got workbench, but you don't have build. His build is not in build. Okay. So at some point, you get wings. And I don't remember what was the minimum requirement for that to happen. I do know that leaping out on floating little lumps of dirt over a huge drop is... Not a thrilling thing to do. Can I sprint? I can. All right, let's try this again. Your stamina does go down, but very slowly. You have a lot of stamina, which is nice. Stamina in, in games tends to, uh, a lot of games tend to really deplete your stamina way too fast. Hear the music? When you hear that, that means that you've got one of these stones nearby. Learn. The sawmill. Maybe, it, yeah, I think the wings or the glider or the bat wings, whatever you want to call it, I think it takes planks to make them. So maybe at that point is when this happens. That is the sawmill. Okay. So we'll make our first planks, then we'll get something. So actually, since there's no fall damage, my, uh, my workbench is down there. Oh, yeah. And, nope, no, uh, my red bar is still fine. So, it's a good thing there's no fall damage, too, because learning how to fly with these wings is not an easy thing. You could do an awful lot of face planting right into the side of the, of the hill. So, <laughs> trying to figure it all out. All right, so let's, let's clear this little spot over here. Grab you guys, and if you just look at something... Oh, gather. Take that one. Actually, gather these first. I think it gives you a bonus on top of what's on the tree. Anyway, um, click on it, and it will pick the correct tool for you. So hit up there and there. There it goes. So this tool... Nope, it won't do it if you already have one in hand. Okay. All right, you're done. Can't get this one till we get a special tool later. Otherwise, two. Let's grab the wood there, the wood there. And there should be a third one that fell somewhere nearby. Nope. Sometimes these logs just fly. You know, like they're spring-loaded. Boing! <laughs> Alright, let's build the uh, the table saw. Or what is... Let's see, B. What is it calling it? The sawmill. Alright, you are actually a little thing. You can go... Let's see, let's... For some reason, I remember hitting F before to turn this. Maybe it is the... Okay. The building materials rotate a little differently, I believe. Anyway, you can be... Let's, eh, let's bring you out here where we can see you a little better. Kind of interesting system. Put you there. And to use it, E. 
we'll drop our wood supply in there and if we click there's F click F and time it right we actually start to speed it up there and then there if you're really quick you can grab it again there there if you mess up you start all over so at some point you just got to say okay I'm, I'm satisfied problem is you've got to be here in the screen ah. oh I missed it <laughs> you got to stay in the screen to maintain the benefit of it so I believe if you just step away from it it will slowly process wood all by itself we're at 25 wood let's Oh, and if you hit it, it powers through the next board. I didn't realize that last time. I guess I wasn't looking down. All right, so let's do that. We'll pull out here in a second once it does 30. Now, does it continue on its own? It doesn't appear so. I was under the impression, I guess if you just sit here. But let's pull these out and call that done. Okay, so you're going to stay there. You're going to... Let's use you. Can we do anything new? Yes, with planks. There it is. And a couple of you. We can learn the bat wings. Uh, the leaf, long leaf glider. There we go. So let's I need two more in order to make it. Alright, so pop down here. There. You guys. Let's craft 20. Let's craft 20. We're going to get lots more of the leaves so we're fine there so close you guys out what else can we learn with this guy oh that's the recipe I thought I was over here trying to create something new no we're just going to make one of these so boom you're done so over into inventories can I get that from here I cannot so yeah, I guess I could. It was that one. So we were... No, it's not quite the same. Interesting. Anyway, we now have no planks. We have plenty of these. Still have 47 leaves. I need to use up some of these stones to take up one less space. Um, over here, let's... Looks like E equips it. Alright, so with that, we can fly. I tell you kind of wish I had recorded, well I'm kind of thankful I didn't record me trying to learn how to fly the first time. It didn't feel very intuitive. I did what felt like I should have done and I just went straight into the ground every single time. So it turns out that it is the opposite to do it. You would, you, you hit W to run and then you hit space to jump and space a second time it pops your wings out. You're still holding W trying to run, but it turns out W is down. S is up. So I kept popping my wings and the slamming face first into the ground. So there, jump, and then S. There we go. Rotate around. And to land, you just kind of put the wings away and crash. You just get a little more graceful. It's not really flying. It's just, what do they say, uh, falling with style. That's pretty much what it is. All right, so we've done that. And this, turns out there is a way to get there that I didn't see before. But that area over there, those two little bumps right there allow you to get to it. But you can jump. Right click slows you down. We can drop. And slowly drop, land. We could have gotten here by Jumping up, where are they? It's here somewhere. There is a way to get up here. These guys, from there, maybe you had to fall into this to get here. I'm not sure, but finding this area makes allows you to discover tomatoes that were here all along. I just didn't know it until I accidentally fell into this place once. So tomatoes and the seeds to grow it, which means we have farming coming up. Tomatoes give you plus four hit points max for three minutes. So that's the benefit there. It's not an eating thing, it is a bonus thing. So gather more. No, we don't need any more rocks. Stop gathering rocks. Um, we need more leaves and could use a little more wood. 
Okay, we're gonna need more of those. So the workbench over there. But let's gather up a few of these tomatoes while we can. Is there any more? Yeah, right there. I think pretty much this whole side over here. Gotta use some of these things to move around if you wanna try to don't wanna have to get your wings out. And it doesn't destroy the plant, it just takes the fruit. So I assume that they will respawn new fruit on them, which is kind of nice. There are animals in the game, there are enemies in the game. There, you'll be able to fly your island over to another island. I'm, I've read that if you crash into that island, it will join and become one with your island. I assume that you have to crash creatively to make the levels land where you want them to. I've never done that. But just kind of roaming around looking for anything that's new. There are treasure chests that are hiding in spots. There are oh, probably a lot of things that I have not seen before yet. So that must be down where we started, way down there. Don't know. There's the waterfall. Let's jump an S and go up over here. And drop. So waterfall up here, which drops way down over there eventually you'll be able to make a sickle which will harvest a lot of these plants and and give you different uses for them there's a lot of game here enough to where i was pleasantly surprised as i was playing it last night so crash boom do a lot of crashing so with that let's see we came this way uh workbench is this way though i'll try that again and the storms that come in, are get they get rather crazy. There's quite some intense storms. Um, I want to say workbench was down here in this cave. There we go. Stamina bar is dropping very slowly, so we still have this cave. Still have a lot of room there. Okay. What's with this little dirt area? Hmm. Actually, this is not our cave. So is this somewhere we've not been? Oh, this is where we just started. Oh, okay. Well, it's getting dark, and I'd like to go get a night's sleep and just to get us back into daytime again. Where am I now? Yeah, this is where we started. So it's up the hill, up there. So if I were to run, jump, and S go straight up. I could not do that the first time. What's at the very top? Oh. Oops. S, 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 S. Oh, made it, made it. Anything up here? No, I hear music. But I think there's also some music in the background that uh, kind of feels like the same music we heard as we approached that guy right over there. Anyway, where's my workbench? I could build another one, but it'd be nice to use the original one. There is a cave entrance. Is that our cave entrance? I kind of feel like it is, but I'm not sure. Gather. I'm going to say it is. Let's find out. Ah, here we go. Okay. So anything that's missed here. We have something in the backpack that's new. Tomato seeds. We haven't seen that yet. Okay. Over here. Ingredients. So... I clicked on the workbench, it brought us to, okay, our recipes and what we can make. So there's nothing new here, I think we've exhausted this island. Let's grab some sleep and move on. Okay, well rested, we'll go a little further and grab the at peace. There you are, and then jump out of bed. Okay, so that's the way we're going, it's officially that way, though we could just try to do this. Jump, jump, S. Oh, not quite. <laughs> All right. So let's get to where we can look out and kind of plan the direction. Hurricane, or I'll call that thing, is the direction we're going. I believe these flashing lights are like a ring, a, a boundary. And there are, I think, three rings worth before we get to the core of the storm. So we're going to float out among these, this outer ring for a while and 
probably head to those islands right over there. So space wise, we could eventually, oh, that's what I wanted to do. I want to make some more of those. Hmm. We'll, we'll make another workbench in the next place and we'll do that there. Okay. So with that then, I guess we jump. And so I was holding W, which just makes you go straight down. Hold this guy. And we coast back up again. And then left click is boost. And you can time the boost. Boom. Boom. Really get going. Though it does tap your stamina when you do that. Let's go up a little. I'm thinking we're not supposed to hit those, uh, those flying rocks coming by us. So probably want to miss those. Let's jump onto this island right here. Slow it down. A little higher. Take our time going in. Whoa. A little, uh, little jump in the game there. All right, a little bit higher. Slowing down. And drop. Okay. So we were over there. Bit of a tornado going on there. And I've heard that if you do get tangled up with one of those, you're... Your whole world comes undone. It, it really does. You don't. You want to avoid those. All right. So this guy had some tomatoes on it, some more branches, but not much more. Looking down, in here there are, I think there's garlic, there's pumpkins, there's corn. So do you want to pay attention to the ground underneath you? Jump. S. Oh. There. S. Up. Try it again. All right, so stay S and let's rotate around. Yeah, it's good practice to learn how to recover from a near-death experience there. And space bar pulls your wings in for here. Anything new on this one besides a couple of branches to grab there? Ah, hey, there we go, gather bones. So bones can be used for bone versions of these and probably some other things that uh, that show up later every time you get a new ingredient it'll let you uh, combine it differently with various other ingredients to create new things so there were three I feel like I missed that one so jump and S and turn and right click and slow down and drop okay what do we have in here any new plants Bones were new to that one. Tomatoes would have been new to the first one had we not discovered them on the other island. I'm not seeing anything different here. No other bones to grab either. Okay. There are animals that are sick in places that you go that you'll eventually research some kind of a, of a cure. There are islands like that one right in front of me that are infected with something. And monsters live on there. <clears throat> and all of the trees and wildlife have been converted into into darkness we'll just say it and corrupted i think it's called and uh it's you fight off the evil over there and it turns back into this so it gives you a a reason to explore and and cleanse this area of all all that is wrong jump and oops oops wings wings Whoops. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. I was about to say, let's go to the highest point and work our way downhill. Also, you want to take a look at the underside of these islands. Sometimes there are places to land that have oh, a cave or a shelf with a treasure chest on it or something. That might be... Uh... Nope, I missed completely. That might be worth the... Uh... The time to go explore it all right let's see about just getting our feet on the solid ground again let's go to the top work our way downhill okay if you touch the side your wings go away and you face plant and drop all right ooh like this guy open what did oh we found a lot of stuff all right so shift click we'll get these guys loaded into your inventory this guy is important but unfortunately you can't look at what they are until you go back into your inventory there's no pop-ups uh, another one of these wind stones you guys more wood all right so drop out of the chest <clears throat> into your inventory 
This is a Mictor, Mictor fiber. Use this great rope and initiate the search for a cure. Oh, there's a disease in there that you get to work on. This guy here is a sharp bone, so it's a combination of bones and maybe the sharp stone combined together to make this guy, which is what is used in the bone tools over here. So it takes quite a few bones to get to the ability to make enough of these to do any good. Uh, with our workbench, we'll be able to make more things with it. If we were to combine two of these together, we'd be able to learn what a rope? A rope. And let's not craft it yet. It might be something that we need to uh, use that as a raw ingredient to combine to something else. You are garlic. Okay, found garlic. <clears throat> and I see there's some up in here. We'll grab those as well. There we go. That it up here? Yeah. All right, work our way downhill. Much easier. All right, these guys, I think, will eventually be able to sickle and get something out of them. There's wheat. There are quite a few different plants around. These guys have a value or a use later on as well. Just kind of checking everything out. What am I lacking now? More leaves. And plenty of wood. More than enough stones. Yeah, so really we're fine gathering-wise. We're just looking for new items now. So drop down. Let's see. Let's do the levels by stair step. In case there's something on one stair step that doesn't appear anywhere else. Right here. Grab some more of this garlic. And what does garlic do? <clears throat> garlic is a fragrant and tasty bulb. That's it. So, I cannot eat it. This I can eat. I can pass over that. Down below there it says press E. And minus one tomato. But we've got a little bonus going on right here. Garlic doesn't give me the ability to eat it. So, apparently it's an ingredient toward something else. Anything hiding up over here? Any more chests? This is probably the pathway up had we started at the bottom. Ah, and somewhere on this, this place there's going to be a, another learning stone. So we've got to keep that in mind too. Now we were up there. We dropped down into this level. I can hear it. Yeah, the music gets louder over in that direction. But let's drop down over here this time. <clears throat> Nothing up there. Down over here. Whoa. Music's getting louder. Maybe it's in a cave down inside of this, of this place. More garlic over here. And that's probably just heading up to where we've been. Most likely. But we can get there going this route. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of like going down the hill on a roller coaster. Mm hmm. <laughs> Are we at the edge or is there more below us? We're at an edge. All right. Uh, ooh, that's where we're going. And there's one up above there. So that's where we're trying to get to. And you can't get there, although this we do want to pick up. This is coal, which is used for the campfire. And each time I hit the, uh, I missed the mark there on the swing. There we go. Oh, did you see that? Because I hit it three times in a row successfully, it took a chunk out of that one too. I had noticed that when I was building that as I was trying to build the flooring, you use the hammer and do the same thing. You hit it successfully enough times, it builds all the floors around you as well. So it gives you a huge crafting bonus if you time your clicks right. If there were more coal in this area, it would have taken some of those out as well. But we need to get up there to jump across to there using our wings. Maybe? I think so. I don't think you can jump that. Put that away. We need to check up there as well, just to make sure there's nothing around that corner. More coal over here. And let's go ahead and get that. So let's see if I can do this right. So there, 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 there. And it took a half of that as well. 
Cool. All right. I miss any there? Nope. Ah, missed it. It would have... No, that's not one. That's just a shadow. I was going to say it would have taken that little one, too, but there wasn't one. All right, so we're over here. No, we're going this direction. There we go. So we got to get across to there. So run, boom, boom, S, and drop. Okay, we're in. Learn. And that gives us the helm that you use to steer an island. <laughs> Oops, let's go to B for build. We now have a campfire. And one thing I learned the hard way, there are variations of everything. You choose it, and then one to three chooses all the different variations, the different kinds of campfires, and different amount of building material it takes, and different uh, you know, qualities. So escape out of that. And all of your building, let's see if I can do that from here. Uh, build, yeah, these guys, no. Where are they? Oh, up here, okay. Building out of wood, grass, I wanna say stone, and I'm not sure what that is. Concrete? Um, so, the stairs, for example. Look at all the variations down there. I didn't realize that until I just happened to glance. I, I built a few things using just these basics right here, not realizing that I could hit the three and change to different kinds of stairs. And after all the time I've spent in Sunken Land, boy, I wish they would implement some of the, the advances that this game has got. I'm really enjoying building in this game. And hopefully we get to a little bit of that before this episode is out. Though, I'm already at 42 minutes. Wow. Hmm. Or 40-some minutes. I don't know if there's any editing to do here. Um, let's go up this way. Yeah, first episode of any series takes a long time to make, unfortunately. There's thumbnails to create. There's a new... Uh, um, I don't know what you would call it, a project, I guess, in the editor set up just for this one with all the artwork and, you know, graphics and what have you, so, you know, that's specific to this game, how the intros and outros and all of that timing, music's got to be found to run in the background if you do that. I think we're done here. So, first episode takes four or five hours, maybe six hours to put together, whereas second episode takes, you know, two so, we came from there, we did not. There's no home symbol over there. If we could get to where we can see over here, that one has a home symbol. So that helps me to realize, okay, we're not going that way, we're going this way. So let's go, let's cruise by this one and just see it. So, boost. And then, we'll slow down. This is the corrupted one. We don't want to land here. We don't have any weapons yet. But that big thing in the middle there with a you know, bulb up on top, that you need to destroy to kill the corruption. And in it are all kinds of enemies. What was that? No, I don't know what that was. Anyway, maybe it did something to me. We're going this way. Let's go land on this one. Uh, let's go see this little guy first. Over here, so give us a boost and raise and boost again. All right, actually, that's a lot further out than I thought it was. Let's do it one more time. We're running out of our stamina, we're going to be exhausted soon. So maybe let's just land here, slow it down, and drop. Okay. This might be a good place just to camp out and go to sleep. Carrots. Ooh. Good stuff. So, whichever island you choose as your home that you're going to build on and, and mount wings and sails and rudders and all the good stuff. I saw bones. No, I saw some kind of a sheep. Ram? Mountain goat. What should we call that? As you feed them, they will be named, and you can pet them and get all cuddly with them. 
and they pumpkins they produce uh, manure which you then use for your gardening as fertilizer and each of these different islands have different kinds of animals available and I guess you crash your island into that island if you want to join them up and gather them to your own place there's feeders and hay bales and grain and depending on the kind of island birds and what have you does this have any kind of a learning stone on it don't think so I'm hearing music actually it's quite loud but I wonder if these things make music I don't know mm, yeah I was about to pop my wings out and thought you know I'm if I do that I'll probably sail out beyond it within seconds okay so let's pop down here land on a goat <laughs> <laughs> and make a quick bed. Build. Uh, don't know why the, the, the saw blade there is where you find your bed. You think it'd be more of a, a home symbol for furnishings, but let's rotate you around and drop you in there and get a night's sleep. We're not going to set his home. Just going to sleep this time. Under the stars. Hopefully not getting rained on. Well rested. We could satisfy all of the tab and the bee down there, but let's just get back to that big island that we skipped. So where are you? Corrupted island? We didn't come from there, so I think this is the opposite direction. Is there anything else on this island? Is it just the carrots? And, well, some pumpkins. And our little mountain goats. Billy goats. Have a few more of that. You are nothing yet. That's where we're going. Right? There's the islands. I think we started there. The island with the three little ones around it, the corrupted island. We were going to go here. I decided to hit this little one first to get it out of the way. I think that's what's going on. Full stamina bar now. Jump, hit, and soar. And then. Boost and time it, boost and time it, boost. Woohoo! Get really going fast. Slow it down and drop. Of course, dropping speeds you up too. I could just drop right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get up high. This is actually a pretty big island. Uh, drop further, drop. It didn't look that big, but... Oh, that's where we're going. But, um... Corn. It just seemed to keep going. Um, so I was saying earlier, it takes a long time to make episode one. And I'm going to be gone the next two days on a trip. And I really would love to put out a whole bunch of episodes and skip that trip. But, yeah, I get it. My mom is depending on me coming over and helping out with some things and... You just, you just got to do it. So, um, I might try and record two episodes tonight. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'm trying to see if there's anything else around here. Let's go see what this is first. And that's actually going to be quite a challenge to get to. I'm going to drop. Oops, drop. Yep, yep, hitting the timing just right. Run, drop, an S, and up. And if you hit, then you crash. All right. So, somehow... We've got to soar our way down there and land on it. Up and drop. Got it. Woohoo! What do we got here? There's the rudder for steering our island. And there are critters down here, if I remember right. What was down here? Wasn't there something on this island? I've been to the first three or four. This one I've seen before. But there you are, like a pheasant sort of thing. This one you'd feed with grain. And by now you would have found some grain. So I think there's a, a treasure chest up high somewhere. Let's look at the lower level more closely. Also looking for things like, what are you? You're an egg? I didn't find that the first time. Wow. 
So egg is not a food. It is. It's a cooking ingredient. So it's not a food you can eat right now. That must be the thing with the garlic. Although garlic is listed here, whereas the egg drops into here. Hmm. I see I'm going to need to get rid of a few things just to make some space. Let's R trash you. Okay, that made a little bit of room. And eventually I'll be trashing other things, like more of these and maybe some of the coal. Because I want to keep the special things that you just don't find very often. That looks like feathers. Oh, there are bow and arrows in here too. All right, well, that's taking up some quick space. So if you have these guys on your island, you can get eggs and feathers. That's what they're showing you. If you have the goats, you can get manure. So really, eventually, you're going to want an island or combine islands to the point that you can have several animals around. Chicks! Look at the chicks! <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a fun game. Looking for bones, looking for other things. Not seeing any right now. All right, what else is on this island before we move on? I think we'll try to get to the island that we're going to build on for next episode. Then maybe I will sit back, make a second episode, stay long into the night editing all of them and get them all out and then go on my trip. That's the plan. Don't know if it's going to happen that way. All right, let's see if there's anything else on this island as far as any other... Oh, I'm not going to get close to that guy. I don't know. In fact, he's... I'm going to get... I don't know if the islands move and drift into things like that. I have been in some really wild windstorms. But I didn't know... Didn't notice if it happened because we went into one of those and that's what caused the wind. So it's possible jump s let's go up over here and drop yeah this is new let's grab this corn so still looking for more things like treasure chests not there okay no so up in there here's rain i think we're getting close to uh to that guy so i want to go up there dare i oh yes Oh, hit the button, hit the button, and drop. All right, more corn, no treasure chests. Okay, corn, um, we're fine. Okay, so nothing else down here, down here. So where are the winds? The winds are still off away from the island. Okay, dare I keep pushing further around? More corn into here and drop down any ledges around here that have treasure chests. With these birds, I'm kind of expecting that I should have found some feed. I did the first time. I don't know where I found it. So I don't know if there is a chest of rare or, or random things like that okay well um big negative let's get out in the rain i want to see what that negative means so tab and here stamina consumption is increased so we're going to run out of stamina faster i don't want to fly in the storm anyway i can't see tornadoes I can't see those rocks flying at you. I don't even know where we're going. So I could make a bed and kind of wait it out. There's no sense of a wait otherwise, right? I've seen that in some games as T. T does what here? Nothing. Um, w? No, W is there. So let's just make a bed and do that. So what do I want here? I want build? Build. Right there. Rotate you around, kind of tuck you aside so we can walk around you easily. Okay. And E. Actually, we'll set you as home. Should we? No, because I 
when we take off, I might look both ways and say, now which way? Well, we're heading toward the storm. There is that. All right, if something happens to me, at least I'll come back to here. All right, we'll set you as home. The island is now your home. Sleep. Let's see if the storm ends. Nope. And now it's just dark and stormy. <laughs> All right, well, we're building up our other ones. No notice this time. We just built up the little symbols down below. Uh, jump out of bed. Yeah, it is really storming now. Wow. So, what else is there to do while we're waiting? I only have three spaces left. Let's throw some rocks away. And throw some coal away. Well, let's make a fire. Let's do that. Just in case there's any advantage to that build. And, well, we can read these while we're waiting. The helm. Steering wheel used to pilot an island. Rudder. Steering wheel used to steer an island. Oh, wooden surface used to steer an island. So the steering wheel controls the rudder. Um, eventually we're going to find sails. Sails that make you go forward and back. Sails that make you go up and down. Like lift sails. So let's build this guy. And start the fire with E. Just drop one piece of coal into it. And does that warm us? Do we get any benefit from this? I wonder if it dries us out. Out here in the rain and then run in here. Does that go away faster? Nope, it doesn't. Same amount of time. Okay. So it's light. Um, I can feed the fire only. There's no interacting. So there's no cooking on it or anything like that. There is a cooking stone. I think a, a cooking table or some kind of a food prep like table. Um, a lot of a lot of different things. A lot of different storage things too. I just want to get to where I can see. I see the stars are out. Let's go out to an edge. I can see a lot better now. There's rain, but I can see. All right. So we came from that direction. I can see the three little islands next to that one. That's the corruption one we passed. The next one we've already been to. Let's jump and take off. We've been to that guy right there. I think the next one is one that's certainly a viable place to call a home. Let me think about that. Past this corruption one. Let's boost. Boost. That's enough. We want to be able to see what we're doing. Boy, we caught an updraft there. So we've been to that one. But did we see the cave underneath? We did not. Brakes. Nope. Nope. Pull the pickaxe out. Go up dude <laughs> all right try that again Ooh, look at the moon that almost looks like our moon except it's blue all right up so is this the island we were on with the goats it is yep there's a goat right there so we came from the other side didn't even notice this we heard the noise though there was a Burning stone in here. There we go. The leaf windmill. This one is used with a rope to power your equipment. So you can automate that sawmill, for instance, and other pieces you're going to get. Now in this cave, I remember there were two treasure chests as well. Right here, this must be where I found the grain. Oh, you look like bone powder. I see a picture of a bone there. I've never seen you before, so a lot of randomness here. So we're going to have to make room. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold the shift down. All right, so two new things. There we are. So pop into here. So we've got garlic seeds. We found those. Um, nothing new there. You tools? There. Empty shell. A handmade trinket devoid of power. So you must be able to infuse some kind of a, a ritual, some kind of power to this thing, like a talisman. And what else did we find? We found this guy, bone meal, a cooking ingredient. Boy, I wish these guys would stack over here. This, it, mm, this is filling up way too fast. Okay, we're going to throw you away. And what else needs to be thrown away? Oh, we have 
lots of these. Let's throw one more of these away. Unfortunately, it destroys them. There is no picking it back up again if you if you uh, change your mind. There is lay down. You can do that anywhere. Just look at the ground. I don't know what the advantage is. You are... It looks like a carrot. Maybe you're a carrot seed. Can I go over here? While I'm in this mode? I can. No. What are you? So we'll have to go back to that. And you're different too. I've never seen you before. Wool. Ooh. So grab all these. We have those already. And this, I believe, is clean water as compared to the dirty water, the darkness right there. This is clean water and ready to go. So pull out of this. And clean water gives you a stamina boost of 20. Don't know for how long. But um, the yellow bar right there. And what else did we see? You are potato seed. Okay. Um, up in here... Nothing else new. Okay, so that is the bonuses from this island. Eventually, you'll be able to make a torch. So these rooms won't be so dark. But I've never seen that recipe. Let's make sure... What are you? I don't know if you're just stone. Let's find out. In case there's something new here. I'm not hitting that properly at all. It's cold. Okay, so we will drop you. Can't see what you are. Alright, so we're... We're good. There's nothing new. No secret rooms. Okay. So that's this one. The sun should be up now. Yeah. Well, sunrise. So we are headed where? Think, think, think. Is that the one we just came from? It is. We skipped the corrupted one. This is the one we found the goats on. We're going that way and or above, above us. Actually, I don't know now. I think those are all the ones. See, you see the benefit of leaving your uh, your home, your bed marked as home where you started. Yeah, let's go there. I think that's where we want to be. Jump, hit, soar, drop. Um, yeah, you're at a lower elevation, but still, I'm gonna be careful of you, unless this is where we just were. It's possible that I'm already... Uh, slow down. Drop. Uh, okay. Wow. I just saw that... For some reason, it pulls the axe out when you land in a sheer panic. All right, are you new or have we been here? You are new. Okay. You are the leaf floater sails. This will lift the island afterward. So we've not been here before. I see more pumpkins. Still looking for a good island to settle down and build our first uh, place to, to stay. This might be it. There was a really interesting island. There it is. That has a fire already on it. Growing beds waiting to add soil. This seemed like an interesting place. It's a little hard to get around and do things. But you can build, you know, stairs and walkways and what have you to get around easier if you want to. But kind of up in here, up on top, seems like a decent place to set up a home. Maybe spanning out over this guy. Kind of like that. Maybe at that level? Not sure. Or from... Here, shot across. Something. We'll figure that out next time. I think so. I think this is a good place to call this one done. Let's make this at least the first island that we build on. We might find a better island or learn enough about the game later to say, you know, this wasn't the best choice. But I do know this water, or the, this island does have water. There aren't any animals, but there are a lot of different plants on it. So, yeah, I think this is where we start next time. So, leave some uh, notes in the comments. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.